Geopolitics front and centre for Jamie Dimon as a group of Democrats urges President Biden to shift his strategy on Ukraine, writing in a letter, quote, we urge you to pair the military and economic support the United States has provided to Ukraine with a proactive diplomatic push, redoubling efforts to seek a realistic framework for a ceasefire, including direct engagement with Russia. Progressives quickly walking back the letter, but not before raising questions of cracks within the party. Bloomberg's Anne-Marie joins us now from the White House for more. AMH, walk us through this one, please. So this letter comes out, Jonathan, and the White House swiftly says that there will be no talks with Russia if Ukraine is not represented. And also you had Admiral John Kirby, the National Security Council spokesperson, saying Mr. Putin is clearly in no mood to negotiate. So then you have these progressives walking back some of these comments and wanting to clarify that this is not them putting pressure on the Biden administration to change tact, but just wanting to offer a diplomatic solution alongside what is happening, which is a ton of money being sent to Ukraine and the fact that they don't want uh, this protracted war. But clearly, Jonathan, what you are seeing is that there could potentially be some cracks within the Democratic Party. You and I just yesterday spoke about what Kevin McCarthy, the uh, House Republican leader, talking about that there's not going to be a blank check anymore for Ukraine, potentially, in the new Congress. So I think what's clear is that the strategy for Ukraine during 2022 may change for 2023 after the midterms. And you see a ton of pressure on these lawmakers on the economics of what's going on in the United States. We should note that for the Kremlin, this is something they will have laser eyes on, not just cracks within the United States, but really the NATO alliance writ large. Ahead of a key vote, AMH, thank you. Down in Washington, two weeks away from the midterms.